what is up guys we are here with another hunt and we are going pronghorn antelope hunting we got a buck tag to fill so let's see if we can get it done we are only out here for one day and this is the day and I'm hoping that we can get it done there is a Lindley's cow elk it's pretty cool to already see some animals moving. Well, I was told about this area up here, and uh, there's some good antelope spots, so Let's see if we can get one. We have a buck tag, that's my main goal to fill, and uh, also two doe tags if we can get the job done on a buck. But we'll see what's up here, and uh, hopefully we can get one. We're going to be using a 270 for these pronghorns, so I'm excited, so uh, we'll see what's up here. Well, just spooked to herd of elk. Hopefully he didn't speak any pronghorn as I was coming up through here. There's another cow elk. That is not what we're after today. Hopefully we can find this uh, herd of pronghorn that I was told about that had been uh, moving up through here. There's one. There's a doe. So that's a sign that there might be a buck in the area with her. Oh, there's another one. Just looks like another doe. Oh man, that is a really nice buck. That is a really nice buck. He's moving right in. And we need to get in position to take him. That is a beautiful buck. Oh man. Yeah, that's definitely a nice buck. Oh my gosh, what a rush. Oh. Oh. Dude, he was, 
a huge pronghorn. Dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, we might even get to be able to double up. Get a doe. Looks like a good shot to me. Oh my. Two pronghorn down. Man, the people that told me about this area, was they were definitely right. That was a huge buck. And I cannot go wait to put that tag around that antler. Well, we just took a shot at another doe, so... Hopefully that'll bring her down as well. So it's about a hundred seventy yard shot. Oh, that looks like good blood to me. Oh yeah. Very good. Harry lays. Oh my goodness. There is a bison. Hello. Oh my goodness, he is a beauty. That is a nice buck. And I am happy to put a tag around his antler. Oh. Here's our other pronghorn. Well, he is tagged and... We'll get him all packed away and... Man, oh man. You got two days for some meat in the freezer. That is awesome. I do believe we hit that doe. Yep, I can see some blood. So we'll go ahead and follow the trail. See if we can find her. I just jumped up another pronghorn. I believe I see it. Well, that is an end of the pronghorn season. Doe tag filled. And then we got one over there. And our pronghorn season is over. But man, oh man, just look at the scenery out here in Colorado. Just the mountains and trees and open fields. Where the pronghorn like to graze. And we'll definitely have to come back out here again. This will definitely be a trip that I will remember. You got a very nice buck on the ground and two does for meat in the freezer. Such a good day out here in the woods.
Man, that uh, she did not go far at all. So, we'll hustle over there and uh, go get her. So we're gonna jog over here and uh, get this thing all taken care of and tagged and that'll be a wrap up to this pronghorn season. Can't wait to come back next year. Look at that one. It looks like, like a darker color fur. Some two does. You must be going back. Good thing we wore our waterproof boots because we just got in the water there a little bit. <laughs> but. Yeah, let's take a look at where we hit it. Oh my, yeah. That's a really good hit. Two seventy yard are done today. Well, that's a wrap for this pronghorn season. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll uh, see you next time.